Exhale, who's it? What's up? It's your brother VJ Nakasa from the Eternal Mother, Mambozana GQ. We're representing another episode of Nancy on the Headspace. So today we're doing something very interesting. It's a new one for me, and I'm hoping that as this is ends this way, we're gonna be able to like move easily into a dynamic where we can engage on the work that comes out locally and really talk about it, man. It's gonna give rappers some nice standards to move up to. So Today I'm doing an album review, so that's really exciting for me. From a really talented young gun, from Alex, actually originally Alexander, um, but based in your pride, if I'm not mistaken, goes by the name of London, and he released a hot mixtape called Free Smoke. Now I want to go into some of the nitty gritties of what I thought of the Free Smoke mixtape, and yeah, let's go into it. So nine joints. Free Smoke is spread into these nine tracks and first I want to talk about the sonic texture. For me, he gets a massive 10 out of 10 for that. He's got production, man, that is... You know, EPE, in a vibe, yeah. You know, you pass the streets and the hoods, the weather's windy, you go to the beach, it feels cool, it feels easy, but it's still got that grittiness, yeah. You, and I feel like this album more or less sounds like where it comes from. <laughs> so I feel like this album more or less gives us a vibe that sums up P.E. in a nutshell, sonically. Like when I hear this album, I feel like I'm in Summer Strand. I feel like I'm in New Brighton. I feel like I'm in Twisted. Like I feel like I'm in almost every corner of a P.E. taking a journey. It sounds colorful it also has like layers of darkness and i feel like that's what you could epitomize ichiq as you know kabeha is a place that is quote unquote the friendly city but there's a lot of like underlying trauma and i feel like my boy london delivers that trauma masterfully with his lyricism definitely definitely one of the most skilled lyricists i've ever listened to in terms of metaphors Double entendres, his technicality, Ndwana has basically honed himself to a place where he's always rapping comfortably. This is what I enjoyed listening to this album. Some cats are still at that stage where they're trying to move into their words, they're trying to kind of, they're trying to rap, you know? London is rapping, he's not trying, this is not an attempt, this is somebody who's definitely in an element, he's in an element, and I can't wait to see how he grows beyond that because in this element, there are times where he reminds me a lot of Aries. His delivery, his flow, it really fits into the context of that kind of a sound, even lyrically, sometimes even vocally. Um, and I think that works against him in a lot of instances because originality, remember, that's my first principle. So, one thing that I can say probably against this mixtape, not necessarily against the project as a whole, but more of a pointer for the future is that originality is so key to letting people travel with you even beyond Kabeg Mameli Project Yago. It's that signature thing about you. It's the first calling card. It's you. It's saying, I'm making my kick in the door and I want to do it by being fully and authentically me. And in that aspect, I feel like London still has a way to go. Because at, in his element, he sounds like a doper A. Reese. Doper in what sense? His lyricism travels to more of a storytelling style. Dude is a skilled storyteller. And tracks that move on this album so seamlessly, tracks like Wish, tracks like Lonely, where whether a man is talking about love, or he's just talking about coming up, or he's talking about his own insecurities, He's got a great way of illustrating the vivid stories and being very vulnerable. So I, I'm definitely giving him a 10 out of 10 for emotional depth. Son is, is, is bringing us into a story. I felt like I understand him, more or less, when I listened to this mixtape. I felt like I, I know where he comes from, ALX represented to the fullest. And I actually found out, just through listening to that, that London, LX. And D-O-N is a play on the Alex Dawn. So shout out to Thinking Like an MZ, because that's a dope ass name. I just thought you were like 
regular ass cat trying to aspire to global things. But it kind of adds another dynamic to it. He's bringing it home. And I appreciate that about his emotional depth. Um, the cat has natural storytelling abilities. He has a heart that's for rap. There's MCs who win people over just on sheer heart. The sheer relatability of their storytelling. MCs like J. Cole. And I feel like well, London is definitely in that focal field of MCs who reach out to people and touch them on that level of telling everyday relatable stories. And I appreciated it. Appreciated tracks like Wish because, I mean, he's talking about the death of a friend. And he does it in a way where... The trauma is there, but you can still groove to it. There's still a light at the end of that tunnel. There's still hope at the end of that pain. So I appreciate that. Big ups in the storytelling. And it could only get better. I mean, I've been watching dudes freestyles online. I've been seeing him grow as an MC. And I'm really impressed. Definitely one of the hot hitters, Ape Kabeha. And I'm looking forward to projects that he's looking to drop for the future. But like I said, my main kind of pet peeve on this one is that his style readily kind of fits into a lot of what A. Reese is already doing and I feel like it's so important brothers, sisters, whatever, you know it's so important that we find ourselves first and foremost rap is about finding your authentic voice to the point where take in those, those, that feedback you keep getting from people and I know it's hard because when you're starting off you're inspired by a lot of people so subconsciously the voices of your own music are the voices of your inspirations. So my thing, London, find your voice in a way that uniquely stands out, fam. You're already close to it. And I think that with being able to just transcend these influences sonically, where you don't sound like Aries, or you don't sound like Yanga, or you don't sound like Anati, then you're stepping into a new dynamic where you dig deeper and you ask yourself what hasn't been done you know well, how can i bring myself in a way that doesn't readily scream of an influence you know what i mean so definitely something to look forward to there and in terms of just the structure i want to give this project another 10 out of 10 for cohesiveness consistency are you it manages to tell a full story. It manages to go from beginning, starting out with the insecurity Zake, and moving and concluding with like a kind of crescendo, something that ends on a high note when he talks about all that I know. And so I feel like, with that being said, it's an album where nobody will mamele your own favorite joints. It still fits in Kwazu Mamela Yonge as a whole cohesively. And that's something that a lot of cats don't have. Songwriting ability is on point. I enjoyed the hooks. Um, Cause you know, writing hook can be a difficult thing. It, you, you've got to be able to capture an emotion using a phrase, using something rhythmic, using something catchy. And you can easily step onto the borderline of being corny. Um, but I didn't feel any cornball bars or any cornball lines when I was listening to Free Smoke. Matter of fact, I really felt the smoke. I felt him that this is a hungry MC. This is somebody who wants to prove himself. This is somebody who wants to solidify his space in rap. And I felt that. Um, so, 10 out of 10 for consistency. And then I want to talk about his technicality a whole lot more. Like I said, Cat is a storyteller. And so, he really, I feel, comes from that basic minimal lineage of MCs like J. Cole. He's not trying to say a lot of words. He uses sparse words like here and there, but he distributes his lines so smoothly, so evenly. Also his flow. Like he's able to rap in pockets in a way that most rappers locally find it hard to do. Because it's more than just rapping to the beat. It's finding your own rhythm within the metronome. And that's when I know you like a real MC. And that was a real MC. So, shout out to that. Appreciate you, man. Um, so, as a whole, Free Smoke, for me, I could sum it up as the birth of London. And I'm sure he's probably been doing this for a minute now. But the birth how? When something's about to be born, it rears its head. It gives you these label pains. It rears signs that it's coming. So, I still feel like Free Smoke says that. Free Smoke 
is an anticipation to greater things. Free Smoke says, I'm coming and I'm about to kill the game. It's not a stamp. It says I'm about to, but it still for me doesn't say I'm killing it. You know, so I'm looking forward to see him build from this. I'm looking forward to him taking feedback, learning, and just growing and evolving as a rapper. But for me, Free Smoke as a whole, when I am factoring in sonic texture, narrative, consistency, and these dynamics that as a whole, Gazzetti Ben make a complete project, definitely. I'm giving this one, wait for it, I'm giving it an 8. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. The 2 for me is, one, there are definitely moments where it's not something I haven't heard before. You know, it's not a sound, it's not a style that I haven't heard before. So as a result, it's, it's some tracks get nostalgic. There are moments where I felt like I was listening to a reiteration of an Anati song. There are moments where it takes me to a lot of what Young is doing right now, and I don't and I don't want to feel that when I'm listening to an MC. I want to faintly kind of feel the influences, but I don't want to feel like I'm still in that world that was created by another person. So that's the first thing I got to get kind of pull it and give it a less. And the second is the fact that in these moments and in it being something that still kind of feels like what a lot of these new wave young cats are aiming for and so yeah there's moments where i feel like the overall project gets lost in a maze of so many other different projects that are doing similar things so as a result from uvj nakasa it's an 8 out of 10 and that's fire that's free smoke that's London. The LAX Dawn representing, keep doing your thing. Fireboy. I would, yeah. Put your ass in the coop. Try my bro. Absolute. Like, we got nothing to lose. I was crying in Jayam and Shiile. Can't lie, it's Kalon this Shulile. Cause I know you was more than a friend. All love, man, we didn't pretend. Made jokes before and moves in the Glen. When I was a man, you came with a plan. Found a lady and she made you a man. I was happy, dog, the Kalele Yani. Wish you lived long, the Bono Gumzalu, Zenzelima, Lupus and Span. Bandu Bang Kalele, Dota Ikali. Tears on my face, and I go Alice in Fa. 